and today in honor of Alzheimer's Awareness Month, I will be talking about Alzheimer's disease and sharing my story and giving you some info about what you can do to kind of help. I've been joined by my cat here, so let's get started. For any of you who don't know, Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease and it is the leading cause of dementia. It is also the sixth leading cause of death for adults in the United States and affects over 50 million people worldwide. So I first learned about Alzheimer's disease in the summer after my freshman year of high school when I visited China for the first time in over a decade and I met my relatives for the first time in a very long time and I met my grandfather who was on my father's side and he had Alzheimer's disease which I didn't know at the time but I learned about later on and it was just really painful seeing how he didn't recognize any of my family members and his and just seeing the effects on my family members including my father because my father is not really the type to be sensitive but he was kind of on the verge of tears because just the decades of the connections with his father and his father didn't recognize him he didn't know his name and he didn't recognize any of us or even any of it the people he's been living with and that's one of the biggest symptoms of Alzheimer's disease oh my gosh <laughs> but yeah that's one of the key symptoms including memory loss and when you can't remember things such as where you placed your keys per se or where you are and you can't get around anywhere and so that was that's very difficult especially for caregivers because somebody that they love just doesn't recognize them anymore and isn't able to perform daily activities like they know like they used to be able to and it also is very confusing for the person who has it and so we would be on video calls and my grandfather who was getting progressively worse would not even be able to respond anymore which is a cause which is caused by Alzheimer's disease because it affects parts of the brain including the hippocampus, the amygdala, and eventually permeates into other parts of the brain so that you can't really move or speak anymore or just process what's going on around you and that was very difficult because he would stare at the camera and he just wouldn't say anything and I remember before he would repeat the same stories over and over before he was unable to talk anymore and just this January my grandfather passed away and that was very painful this past week was actually Father's Day so that was also very difficult and yeah so that's my experience with Alzheimer's disease and that's also sparked my interest in learning about neuroscience and how I could possibly help find a cure in the future. Alright, so what can you do to help? Well, promoting awareness and education definitely is important, so doing all you can to learn more about Alzheimer's disease and any other neurodegenerative diseases, sharing information about it with your family members, especially if any of your loved ones are showing symptoms, that definitely is something important because in early intervention can definitely help, and working to end the stigma because some people definitely feel like they've lost some of their worth in society with an Alzheimer's diagnosis. And at the same time, if you have time or money and you want to volunteer or donate to an organization such as the Alzheimer's Association, that definitely is something that would really be appreciated. And really just educating yourself and others by promoting healthy lifestyle habits that can help reduce your likelihood of getting Alzheimer's and the likelihood of those around you getting Alzheimer's. At the same time, some of these things are very simple, such as eating healthy or getting enough exercise, learning something every day to make sure that your brain is healthy and practicing neuroplasticity, and really just learning about it and being aware, because that really is very important. So thank you so much for your time, and have a great day.